Oh, you guys can donate so to far. add more to that. Yeah, so far. <laughs> to see who's getting that bread today. So we got Lucas and Pokemon Trainer. All right, so PT, uh, we're going to see. I, I forget which Pokemon is preferred in this matchup. What do you think? Squirtle? Could be a mix of Squirtle, Ivysaur. Don't want to be a big enough target for Lucas to be a combo machine on. Yeah, sure. Lucas definitely be hitting them buttons on you. Like so. God damn, you already took 72%? That's crazy. Yeah, I'm going to say, this advantage state is crazy, bro. Yeah. All right, good job for you. A Squirtle's maneuvering and the uh, buttons can bring that lead all the way back. Nice throw. Yeah, I like the coverage on the platform, just rising up air, forward air. It's good. Yeah, solid follow ups here from the Squirtle. Let's see if Wake Up can wake up here and take the first stock. Otherwise, PK Fire could run away with this. Alright, PK Fire being true to their name, throwing out some PK Fires of their own. Uh, good control of center stage. Yeah. Or we were thinking, like, what if PK Fire, like, says PK Fire, it's gonna throw it out. Oh god, that's a solid gimp right there. Nice first stock there from PK Fire using that thunder. Just yeah, that was great. Completely destroying it. Yeah. Completely destroying the recovery. Oh, wow. That would have been crazy if the ice would have kept them off the stage and they would have spiked them. That would have been some combo video maneuvers. Some highlight momentums. Yeah. Okay, oh. freeze. Gotta watch out for it. Yeah, you gotta watch out. Plus on block. Oh, nice back. Air. You see back here? Right, yeah, I, I want to see. I want to see some more of that. That stuff that uh, Wake Up did earlier. A lot of like that rising up air forwarder stuff on platform. Because you can kind of just mash it out. Oh no, the recovery. Much oh, they gained the extra jump, but PK fire with the right timing just to take it all away from him. Yeah, we Wake finally up. saw the uh, edge guard get executed well. Oh, yeah, they, they realized too late on where they were on the stage and just failed to recover their own time. Giving PK Fire enough advantage and positioning to get that stock. See if PK Fire can run away with this. PK Fire is doing a really good job of maintaining their distance against Wake Up and spacing right around the Wake Up's buttons and pressure. Like, Wake Up's trying to find a way to get them on the ground. Put some buttons on them, get some percentage in, but PK Fire is just maneuvering around that like really well. Ooh, nice yeah. bolt seat punished it from the whip grab. Ooh, Ooh the near. Still has the jump. Solid recovery there from PK Fire. Now they just have to get stage control back before they lose it all. Here's this up air. Solid job there from Wake Up. And true to their name, they throw an immediate PK Fire after spawn. If they would have missed the poster, they would have died to that forward smash, but good stuff from the patience there. It's a nice little percentage in. All right, good F tilt. Ooh, the backer to catch the jump. Bro. Yeah, Ivysaur is the better bet here because they have the longer reaching buttons. Oh, the PK freeze though. Yeah, knock them off before they can get that clip downer from Ivy. I don't believe yeah. they're fast enough to punish the PK freeze on block if it's too far. Oh, the setup. Oh, they missed it. Again. Oh. There oh. it is. That's, oh, that's the it. Solid job there from Wake Up, taking it all the way back with their solid confirms, putting PK Fire in some weird spots there just to take that stock. Very solid play there. Seeing our replay here, getting that nice razor blade. There's a leaf while. <laughs> Down throw up B. The staple stuff that you gotta learn as Ivysaur and the Rocket League. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my <go>. bad. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket League! Shout out to Rocket League! <laughs> yes! <All right. laughs> this year is sponsored you by Rocket League. <laughs> nice backer. Grand sponsor oh, Rocket man. League, no Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch it, how you recover here when you see those PK uh, Thunders coming. It's a very like weird spot to put yourself in. Like, if he's gonna hit you with it, at least like let him hit you before they take your jump away. But. You can only go so low. I guess that was actually pretty smart of switching the Charizard for the extra jump. So, good stuff there to to wake up or waking up right there and <laughs> taking that first game. Let's see what PK Fire is gonna, gonna take a wake up to for the next game. What are your thoughts, uh, Z minus? Yeah. So PK Fire was actually not doing a bad job of maneuvering away from uh, wake up. I'd say the only issue is there's kind of an underutilization of 
Zare. I feel like Zare could have been better used because it's like a brawler type of tool. Um, honestly, instead of using full hops, you should do a lot more fast fall Zare. I feel like it's going to be a lot more secure. Yeah, I didn't see any Zares on, on my end either. And that would be helpful to find a character as uh, horizontal range heavy as a PT. Now, granted, it could all change from the switch of the Pokemon too, but it's always helpful to have a tool that would help poke in a matchup such as this. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, okay. So I definitely think the percent base of the matchup is really important to know for uh, PT. Because like, if, you, if you're at that high percent, obviously you're going to go Zard, but I think the switch between Squirtle and Ivy is kind of preferable to the player. Like, I think at this percent, some might want to go Ivy, some might not. Um, oh, oh man, oh, what a mistake no. there from Wake Up. What happened? Hate to see it. Hate to see it. But now we see uh, we see the IV coming out. Interesting use of the, uh, the seed. That was definitely an accidental uh, misinput on Razor Leaf. Ooh, wh what? Most probably. What probably. was the DI on that? <laughs> okay, please don't stay too much off stage. It's online. You know, this buffer can kill you. I gotta say, that was, that was an impressive uh, up B though, nice. past the ledge. That was good. I always get scared whenever I see a Squirtle do like the, the withdrawal. Because I always like fear for him getting footstool, and he's just super vulnerable when he gets footstool. Oh, dude, that's oh, the worst. Dude. Oh. Save the jump there. Oh, the Miki oh. the PK freeze? Oh, the, Burns himself fire. right through it. Fire beats ice. Fire beats ice, let's go. All right, one hit away from both sides, but the heavier side is gonna survive a lot better. Back air, no jump. Clip. So get up. Oh no, didn't read the the get up properly. Oh, and gets punished for trying to edge guard there. It's all yeah. stuff there from PK Fire taking advantage of uh, wake up mistakes. All right, coming left the smash. Ooh, but that was a well spaced forward smash. You saw like how far they were from like getting grabbed right there. That's a telegram too, that's a, that's a very far reaching grab that Lucas has. Back throw again takes the stock, man. Yeah, speaking of grabs, we saw a grab coming up from weak up to take that stock. And now we're seeing another grab. We're gonna see some follow-ups. Oh. Good damage, down throw into ooh, multi hit. I didn't think Lucas was minus there after that second uh, second hit the forward tilt right there. But he, mm -hmm. Wake up was able to grab him after the forward tilt hit him. This is like, oh, okay. Is your combo? <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect I thought it was a lot safer, I guess not. Mm, yeah. Maybe it's a percentage thing. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, PK Fire likes to foul hop a lot. And they like to keep their distance here, but they're they're losing the interaction like the grabs here. So they have to still be careful on how to approach. Ooh, nice PK freeze. Another one. Oh, careful. Nice. Nice delay and recovery there from Wake Up just to avoid getting spiked. Oh, it was so close. <laughs> yeah, if PK Fire was more on the money there, they would have killed that character and we was in the game three right now. It's a great situation. Wake up can take the set right here. I think it's one grab set up. Oh. Oh, oh off stage. All right. Oh, no. Whatever you do, PK Fire, do not want to be in grab vulnerable, grab vulnerable ranges where you get loose, where you lose these setups. Uh, he, he's doing these random seeds. I think they're meant to be razor leaves. I don't know. Should be. Uh, it's back air. Oh, up there, off the platform. It. Oh, you got jailed on that platform, son. GG. Wake Look up, take this set. Look at him dancing. He says, wake up, wake up to this. Get up there, son. <laughs> Damn, definitely woke them up right there. Look at that. Look, he, look, I've sort, you know, this is this was just like a Pokemon battle, you know? He he avoided the thunder. He avoided the, the, the fire type move. He avoided the ice type move. He avoided all three of those things. Ice type? Nah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Ooh. Pretty good stuff. Caught him like trying to escape so hastily off that platform. I know how bad it is to be on a platform in this game. Trust Look, me. My man experience. saw that he landed on the platform. He was like, all of this is mine, bro. <laughs> you are going to die. <laughs> there he <It> goes. <laughs> you are in my domain. And within my domain, if you try to escape it forcefully, it will tear you apart. Yes. Yeah.